He's a gorilla of destiny, a bullet club OG. Continuing on the legacy of the most feared name in all of wrestling. From Tonga to Japan to America, you are now entering Tamas Island. With your host, the babyface heel, Tama Tonga. Folks, we are live on Tama's Island. Welcome, folks. Welcome to Tama's Island. We are live here on Twitch. We are live on the island, and uh, we are live with the, uh, the seven-time IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, the 2020 World Tag League winner, and in my opinion, the best friend that the Iron Fingers of Doom ever had, Tama Tonga, how are you, my friend? Oh, what is going on? Hey, don't mind me. I got a mess going on here, man. I got kitten toys everywhere. No problem. What is going on, Russ? How you doing, man? Everybody on Thomas Island. Yeah, we're live on we're on live on Thomas Island, and for the first time in the history of Thomas Island podcast, we're live on Twitch. We did a little practice with some Wrestle Kingdom watch alongs, and now we are broad casting live thank you to everyone that's been following uh over the course of the day everyone that's that's live in the chat right now uh thank you for being here for this uh this historic moment but i you know i can't complain tama i'm hanging out i'm enjoying all that's going on in wrestling how are you you're having a you're having a week you're having a month oh man ross let me tell you something man it's been a hell of a three-month stunt that i have a stint that I've been having here from Florida to Tokyo to the tournament to damn Wrestle Kingdom and right back to Florida. It's been hell of a deal, man. Let me tell you. You know what? We we've got a lot to cover today, but man, mm-hmm. let me let me uh bro, can you hear me better here? Am I better? Yeah, oh, yeah, you're coming beautiful. in <laughs> coming in real crisp. There we go. All right, cool. But you you've go. been I was gonna say because you're you're back home now. You're you're you you were last time we talked to you on Twitch. You were in a, in a hotel room in Tokyo. Now you're back home. You have a, a an IWGP tag title defense coming up on February 10th. So you're gonna be you're gonna be back in Japan very soon. I mean, you you're a jet setter right now. How are you feeling? How's the oh, how's the uh, jet lag treating you? Oh, it's it's been it's horrible, man. It, it's horrible. I you know what. Three, eight, eight, three, three to eight years ago, man. <laughs> eight years ago, I didn't believe jet lag was real, man. <laughs> but I wasn't going back as uh, as often as I am now, and it mm-hmm. is the worst, man. I've been up since two o'clock this morning, Whew. and yeah, it's it's been hell, man. I, I fall asleep around this time. But I've taken two energy drinks and I'm ready to rock and roll, man. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I'm riding that. Yeah. Yep, I'm riding that Red Bull train. If they ever want to sponsor us, we're wide open. As you can tell, I got room for logos, baby. Um, but it's right. it's definitely been uh it's been a chaotic week for uh for you. It's been a chaotic week for Bullet Club. I mean, we'll we'll address the elephant in the room soon oh, enough. Will. But let's let's oh, talk yeah. about Wrestle Kingdom. This was not a this was not a usual Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, in fact, right oh, after Wrestle before Kingdom, before we even get let me let oh, me before start. we even get to Wrestle Kingdom, hey Ross, man, let me tell you who we're sponsored by. This podcast, Thomas Island Podcast, is sponsored by To Be the Man Comics. Man, they've been great with us. We've been working on many series, the stories that are told here on the podcast from Gallows. <clears throat> we'll talk about. It. We'll get back. <laughs> even though I'm giving you a shine right now, good brother. We're gonna get to your ass <laughs> later. All right, and uh, the latest one we're going to be dropping here this weekend is a story from Hikuleo. So to be the band, Comics has been doing great with us. Thank you guys for uh, riding with us, sticking it out with us. And can't forget our Manscaped, man. All right, mm-hmm. our Manscaped. Got to keep the evil man Manscaped, baby. Manscaped has been doing a lot of stuff. If you head over to using the code TAMA at manscaped.com, you're going to get 20% off. You're going to get free shipping. It's a, it's a good time over there on, uh, on Manscaped. That's right, man. So, hey, let's get to it, man. So, hell yeah. So, we wrestle, to, uh, <laughs> wrestle Kingdom. Before wrestle we even get to Wrestle Kingdom, man. Yep. Let me tell you, Japan is 
on lockdown. Now I left, mm-hmm. I left Japan on January 7th and on January 8th, Tokyo went on lockdown. But before <laughs> that, everything was kind of chill. I mm-hmm. got there. Uh, they put us on quarantine for two weeks, 14 mm-hmm. days. And they had me staying at the dojo and it, it was actually, you know what? Japan, Japan's doing a lot better than I feel that floor. Now, now I live in Florida, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna say you're in a you're you're in a much. I'm in I'm in Chicago, where everyone is very. I haven't I haven't been near someone in probably about a long time. Everyone's six feet apart. It's a <laughs> very spaced out time. Florida, I hear it's a little more uh, wild I, I wild about, west, so to speak. <laughs> I'm in Japan, and I got mm-hmm. the news on Florida on their TV news. Man, they're talking about Florida is the worst out of all Ooh. states in America and probably out of anybody else. Uh, I was, I was going to say, road, we're, man. we're state in America. We're, we're all kind of, it, it feels like we're all tied for 49th right now. And then like, <laughs> it's like, it's not exact. It's, it's not a, it's not a fall, fall far down. It's a, I, I think I saw an uncontrolled spread map where it was like every state was, was deep red. It's uh it's, gonna get it's gonna be weird but at the end of the day japan they have it under control like we said wrestle kingdom had twelve thousand people i believe the first night and about seven thousand people the second night so that's Mm -hmm. nothing to sneeze at as far as uh as far as you know attendance wise yes they've got on uh under control and yes they had to declare a state of emergency like you said on on the eighth right after everything kind of settled down but Mm -hmm. they're already set for it sounds like there's going to be crowds for the road to the new beginning tour. It sounds like there's going to be people yeah. at new beginning. So even, even in this state of emergency, Japan seems to be handling it in a way that, that just puts us to shame. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, to, there's no other way to put it. They had us testing uh, before our Russell, uh, our, um, our tag league tournament. Mm-hmm. They had us test the whole group, the whole, we went the whole nine. We got to get there earlier than usual. Like, uh, and, and, they let fans in earlier than usual so they can test everybody. They can check the temperature. Everybody, every seat was every other seat. <laughs> um, man, it, it kind of was like, it was a little shocking at first, uh, just seeing the, <laughs> you know, less people. And, and, but I was grateful to even have anybody there. You know, when we were taping in LA, there was nobody. And it was like, I was just- it, it, yeah, you guys were doing the New Japan Strong and uh, all the the kind of sub subtitles that the New Japan Strong shows have had. It's it's been in, it's been in L.A. It's been no fans. I mean, how was it? Because you also had tag league, and so that that was kind of a, a good reintroduction to fans. But how how does it feel having that even with restrictions, having those crowds kind of in in the building? Yeah, uh, during the pay per views, it mm-hmm. was a lot more packed. We had it down south in uh, Fukuoka and. It looked packed, mm-hmm. because, you know, there was, uh, but it was every other seat, but it was like a three-story building or a two-story building or like stadium seating. And mm-hmm. it was awesome. It was just good to see everybody in. Now the house shows was kind of like scarce, but mm-hmm. you know what? I was just happy that people were coming during mm-hmm. these difficult times, you know? So, uh, but the, tour, uh, the tag league, it was awesome. Um, we finally, finally after uh, six years, just- Six long years in no, New Japan. Four, four years. Four, four years. Technically. You've been. I was gonna say, but you've been there. You've been there a while. You've been running through a lot yeah. of tournaments. I mean, hell, you were you were even in Super Juniors once. I mean, you have, yeah. you've had your share <laughs> of New Japan tournaments, and this is this is your first one. This is Tonga's first yeah. one. This is the you know the so curse is broken. Yeah, mm-hmm. all together, ten years I've been in New Japan. Uh, ten years I've been running the uh, the tag league. This is the first one we've achieved. I've achieved, mm-hmm. and uh, it was against uh, uh, Juice and Finley, a great tag team. They stepped it up big time this year. They went ham, man. I was gonna say this was a different Finn Juice. I mean, they were mm-hmm. they they both seemed to put on a lot of just a lot of muscle. They were they were running through people during this oh, tag yeah. league, uh, I mean, and I mean. And it's not to not to to kiss the ring a little bit. You and you and T have also been kind of running a little bit, little bit stronger since the since the quarantine. You guys kind of came out of the came out of the gate ready to ready to fight. What's that? What's that mindset kind of been like returning to to competition? I was in just front ready of fans just because we were back home 
uh, most of the year, right? Mm -hmm. And and yeah. I was antsy to get back. And I, I just remember talking to my brother before we even left. I was like, look, man, we need to like rock and roll. We can't treat this like any, this is different. <laughs> they're, they're, they're looking to us to step up. So we need to go in and fuck up some shit. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll bleep those those uh, curse words out. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep make. It, uh, I I went I went through the I went through the <laughs> Twitch uh, community guidelines with a fine tooth comb. We're fine uh, as, right, long cool. as, as long as as long as we just as long as we just sprinkle it. We can't go too spicy. <laughs> yeah, man, and and we just went back and we just had the mindset of like, look, let's just let's rock and roll, man. Whoever we're with, let's take it to the edge. Let's take it one hundred and and go from there. And I'm not saying that we didn't do it like that every other year. But mm. it, this one, we were just ready to explode. Everything was built up from us staying at home and mm -hmm. the situation with the world. We just felt like we had to give this extra oomph for mm -hmm. not just us, but for the fans, for Japan, for, for everybody. And, and uh, I was really happy with that finals with, with Finn Juice, man. They, they stepped out their game. They, like you said, they got muscle. They, I mean, yep. uh, Juice changed up his look. You know, I wasn't the mm -hmm. only one that changed up my look, Juice. Change yep. up his look, and we're gonna we're gonna sidebar here real quick. We got a lot of people who got some kind of feeling, some type of way about my haircut and me taking oh. off my beard. Look, number oh, one, yeah? all y'all that got something <laughs> to say about that. All right, yep. and number two, you know, not one single person, not mm -hmm. one single fan in Japan had anything bad to say about what the change. It was all good, and it started off with Tanahashi and Shibata. Now those are the two kings now, and mm -hmm. they like my look. And then all the fans well, in Japan, mm -hmm. the place that pays my check, they are happy with it. I could give two rats ass about what any y'all in America think or whatever about my beard. Y'all got too used to WWE yep. product. Let me tell you that or AEW product. Everybody growing their beard, yep. gonna look tough. F all that nonsense. Y'all need to shut that shit up. Right. And <laughs> let if if I may just if I may just point out for a second, because yes, all respect to Shibata, the man has a luscious head of hair, but let's really talk about that. Hiroshi Tanahashi, a man who is known for as as far as many things, his hair approves of your hair. I mean, you don't get a bigger you don't get a bigger uh endorsement than for hair than Tanahashi. That, that's it's Tanahashi. The ace, the god. The guy that Zima went after to scoop up his sweat to make Zima drinks out of, man. Yeah. Look, if he's okay with this, I don't care what any of uh, y'all say anymore. All right? Yep. So accept it. Run with it. It's, it's 2021 already. All right? It's, Come on now. And let's, I mean, let's, talk, let's speak to the results. It's working. Like you said, you broke the curse at, in, uh, for Tag League. Let's fast forward to the Tokyo Dome, a place you have literally, you've mm. never won in the Tokyo Dome. You've tried. You have tried damn hard to win in the Tokyo Dome. But on January 4th, 2021, you and Tonga Loa did it. You didn't just break the curse. You broke Tenzan and Kojima's record for the most heavyweight tag team title runs for a single team in New Japan history. Mm -hmm. I mean, it. the The new look is definitely working for you right now. I mean, how, let's... How was that? How was that feeling? You, you, we, if you were watching Wrestle Kingdom, we saw you get on top of the dugout. You had the iron fingers. You had the belt. You had the spotlight almost blinding the camera. But how did that feel, man, soaking that in? Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you. It was everything that we had imagined it would be. It was everything and more. You see, let me, let me a little thing on the side here. <clears throat> that going on top of the dugout deal. That yep. was my brother Tangaloa's idea, right? Yep. And uh, we were all good with it. Everything was good. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, man, let's get mm -hmm. up the dugout. And, and Jado, Jado was right there. And Jado was like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. And they were like, well, how are we going to get to the top? She was like, oh, I, I figured out a way. There's a way. There's a thing right next to it that we just climb up. And, and just, so me and Jado was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh -huh. Then we're boom. We're, we're out of the match finish. We're running down the side. And I'm looking. And, and, it's, and it's my brother. Jado and then me and then my brother goes in and he just walks up the stands where there's a lot of people and I mm -hmm. me and Jado just kind of stop and I can see <laughs> it in Jado Jado just pause and he's just looking and I can tell he's like he's doing the math in his head he's like I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble for this I don't think this is a good idea you know oh, <laughs> man. and I was like and I'm looking I was like that is not quick like he said it was gonna be <laughs> mm -hmm. that's like we he went and then cut across a whole bunch of people stepping over people 
before he, like two rows of people before he even got to the top of the dugout. And I could tell Jada wasn't going, nah, uh uh, that's not a good Mm -hmm. idea, man. And I was like, shit, I can't, I can't leave him out there now. I can't, I can't bail on him. So, you know what? I said, you know what? F it, man. I said, if he, you know, if we're going to mm-hmm. go down, we might as well go down together. Here we go. I just hell climbed yeah. up, man. And I'm stepping on people and I'm screaming, move. Get the hell out of the way. Still, I'm stepping <laughs> over people. And they're taking pictures of me as my feet, my, yep. my leg is right here. My crotch is in their face. And they're like taking pictures of me right here in my crotch, man. Probably got my, uh, <laughs> You know, they got a nice shot of my my new brand new gear that we've been working on. <laughs> I was gonna say, you and your brother look fresh as hell. You both you 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 came the same kind of way you you guys showed up to the the press conference, both in I would say your own kind of style, but still very much a unified presence. It was it was very uh, it was yeah. good. You said I, you even said on the 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 night two watch along, you've been working on that look for a while now. That's been in the yeah. works for for how long? Yeah, for shoot, that was actually for the year before that, but we didn't get it done in time, man. Uh, oh, you know, it didn't get worked out. So we've been mm. we've been waiting for that another whole year. Whole year I mean, it's re- it's Wrestle Kingdom gear. You can't use the <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom gear at, at Dominion. Dominion's mm-hmm. great, but Dominion, you get the Dominion gear. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yep. Wrestle Kingdom is on everything mm-hmm. man, everything i have, I wore boots night and i haven't worn boots in years and i wore that out for the first time Whew, so you know it's dead serious man you know it's dead serious <laughs> it was i mean it was damn serious you were pulling out all the stops against uh zach saber jr and tai chi you even pulled out uh you you and your brother pulled out your dad's old uh double power bomb that him and barbarian oh, used to do oh man yeah man and it i mean bring that out it looked bring good heavy guns man you mm-hmm. know Last time we used that, uh, shit, I think the last time we used that was against the Briscoes in 2016, man. Mm. And uh, For- we, it was a title match, and, and that was the last time. So, you know, we had to bring it, we had to bring it back, man. Even my pop, man, he was like, "Damn, man, mm-hmm. I'm jealous. You guys did it better." And I said, like, "That's right, pop, man. Don't it, forget I- that." It was yeah. It was either you or T shared a uh, like a side by side. It was it was crisp. Mm-hmm. It was yeah, a man. it was a crisp crisp power bomb. Shout outs to uh, to Tonga Loa on that too, because I mean it take <laughs> it takes two to tango on that move. Um, <laughs> so great, it, but yeah, it just just a real uh, a real a real good moment. It seemed like a real family moment for you and uh, for you and T there in the in the Tokyo it was, Dome. It was great, man. Besides, like uh, us getting in trouble for going on top of the uh, <laughs> uh, the the, the uh, dugout there everything else was was perfect man i couldn't ask for a better night um hell yeah wrestle kingdom 15 was fucking great everybody enjoyed it we had some you know that's probably one of our best matches that that we we put on uh just with with everything that we put together you know uh put Mm -hmm. down and i i really enjoyed our rivalry with uh with Tai Chi and Zack Sabre, man, their, their uh, style is a nice clash of style, especially with Zack, you know, in his, mm-hmm. in his own style and Tai Chi with his, with his style. I, I'm looking forward to working with them and seeing what we can do, what we can uh, do together here. And, you know, I, you know, I, I got somebody who wants to say hi, man. Oh, I got, I got, oh. Somebody, I got somebody, you know, uh, he was, he was eating some Papa John's earlier, but hey, hey. Oh, I'm glad he, he looked yeah. hungry. Yeah, he was man. Wow, been, there I'll it tell is. You what, what's that? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Let me tell you guys something. He's mm. enjoyed himself inside Bullet Club more than he, he's been doing. I mean, he, he got he got he got premium flights here mm-hmm. to Florida. He, this is his first vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First vacation since he's ever since he started his career. I mean. This this is why I said you're the best friend that Iron Fingers ever had. I mean, like he's not he's not you being know. trapped in some musty fanny pack. Right. He's breathing the fresh air. He's right. getting some good food. He's getting some good air travel, oh, man. I mean, Florida sunshine. I, I mean, I mean, I, hey. I gotta raise I gotta raise a Red Bull to to Iron hey. Fingers getting that getting that upgrade, man. Yeah, that's right, man. So uh, you know he's he's been a, a major uh, help in the, in the club now, and I you know it's 2021. Mm-hmm. And uh, this has been such a great partnership that I, we're thinking of making him our next uh, recruitment here. Would you? Ooh! I know we gotta take we gotta take our time now. All right, there's a process. 
Mm-hmm. Right, but yes, but yes, he's uh, he's already wanted. He's already he's done with Suzuki Gun. I know. Yeah, he's done. He's <laughs> done with that man. He's done. Hey, but, hey, I don't. I don't blame him. You guys have been scouting him. You've been <laughs> been treating him pretty pretty well. But Tai Chi, look, Tai Chi's not giving that up without a fight. I don't know if you've been following along on Twitter, but he's he's not even going by Hammurabi's code. Hammurabi said that you know if you take something, you get your hand cut off. He's coming for your life. He's like, I'm I am I am coming for Tama and T. I am gonna I I want the Iron Fingers back. You're gonna have to. February 10th is gonna be a fight, my friend. Do, do you want to go back to Tai Chi? <laughs> I know. See, Iron Finger doesn't even want to go back to Tai Chi right now. Look at him. Look at him, yeah. man. Ah, oh, hey, it's okay, man. You go ahead, take a rest, okay? Thank you, thank you for joining us. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. When you're in Bullet Club, we will treat you good. All right, mm-hmm. we treat you good. We treat, it, this is this is a brotherhood, man. It's a brotherhood. That's that's nowhere nowhere else no other company can treat you like bullet club treats you in new japan uh-huh you know it it's it's a fair point i mean bullet club in new japan that's a that's that's a partnership right there i mean we'll get we'll probably get more into that as this goes on but uh we there are there are multiple elephants that we kind of have to address um and if we're talking about wrestle kingdom we would be remiss if we didn't talk about your boy jay white because uh jay white had a very he he had a, a about 10 minutes to just bear his soul for the new japan audience i mean i'm sure you you probably have heard the heard the comments by now what did you uh mm. would you have that, any that kind was, of response I was, I was surprised with that i was really yeah. surprised because that was very unlike mm-hmm. jay white and i was very uh it sounded like a frustrated Jay White. Yeah, that's that's putting it lightly. I mean, he really did, especially the tail end of that, the the last about twenty minutes of that that fifty minute epic mm-hmm. that he had with Kota Ibushi. He was really there. You of kind match. of Hello. it was an amazing match, a, absolutely mm-hmm. amazing match. But you could definitely see moments where Jay there was just there was a frustration that I I haven't not only seen in Jay White. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of frustration in any wrestler. He was really mm-hmm. having a he was having. A, a breaking moment there and the uh the 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 the, the speech that he gave afterwards i mean it was <sighs> it was emotional stuff it was like you said even he said it's not it it didn't feel like it didn't feel like him it was he said it wasn't jay it was jamie and uh that you don't get more personal for for someone like jay white than that that's right and, and yeah that, that i'm i'm a little uh i'm i'm a little uh hmm Mm-hmm. Right, let me choose my right words here. Let exactly. Look, I'm right. not going to make you. I'm not going to make you tell us Bullet Club's business, but it's. Yeah. I, I would be remiss if we didn't get some kind of comment. Yeah, I. I was. Uh, I don't know, man. That wasn't. That wasn't Jay White. That was Jamie. And to see that kind of. Hmm. Hmm. You know, got to rethink now because that's supposed to be somebody that's supposed to be our leader he's some definitely of, some some of you would say or i was gonna say because you you would say you, there was gonna i was, I was waiting uh-huh. for you to say that because you you've it, often talked about the bullet club front man and jay white yeah. has ve- he's been very very much a, a, a public face of bullet club for a couple of years now you see i've never we've never had that kind of this kind of problem before so to see this mm-hmm. if you want to call it a problem to me that's that's a, a warning Mm-hmm. that's a red flag right there for me and mm-hmm. uh i don't know what does he mean what does jamie white mean what yeah. does jamie mean where's jay where's jay white huh there's there's the question yeah. where is jay white you, you, we saw bullet him club. yeah bullet club is looking for jay white mm-hmm. that wasn't jay white so now i'm asking you know where is mm-hmm. jay white what well that's that jay white that feels like the question of, of New Year's Dash the night after when he, he kind of he fell to Tomohiro Ishii, who's been a, a thorn in Jay White's side for a long time now. Hey, and what, he, do you say, he, what do you say? Eight years? Eight years, right? He's been. Yeah, something. But I, I believe he said about eight years. Yeah. Eight years, huh? Well, well, Jamie, some of us has been going at this longer than that. 
but you don't see us. Let's it's see. no. Uh -huh. Hey, no. Let's it's like I said. I'm not gonna make you. I'm not gonna make mm -hmm. you tell us Bullet Club's business. But it definitely, it's on everyone's minds. Where is Jay White? What happened to Jay White? What's gonna? Yeah. What What does the future yeah. hold? Like we said, you, you're defending your titles on on uh, February 10th at, at New Beginning. The New Beginning cards have been released. There's there's not a, a there's neither here nor there of Jay White on any of these these many cards. There's gonna be three big shows. Uh, one on in in Nagoya, two in Hiroshima, and then a number of, of road to new beginning shows. And there's no there's no Jay, there's no Jamie. There's uh, he's well, maybe that's you know that's very important. Mm -hmm. Let uh let's let's let Jamie go find Jay White and bring him back to Bullet Club because we don't want Jamie. You know. There you go. Let's he let's, he uh, let's wait on that. There was there was a lot of athletic tape on him at New Year's Dash. He was very beat up. He looked very weary. It uh, mm -hmm. a rest a rest would probably probably do do him some good. Uh, once again, we want to shout out to everyone who's watching us here on chat for the the season two premiere of Thomas Island. Uh -huh. uh, it we're we're live on Twitch. Y'all have been uh, chatting it up, chopping it up in the chat, and I'm a real. Uh, Real happy to see all of the the emojis that I'm still learning all of the the meanings behind because I'm the world's oldest oldest millennial. Shout out to shout out to everyone on Twitch, everyone that's listening. Oh, um, yeah. We talk. And shout out to our Thomas Island uh, Patreon members, huh? Yeah, we're gonna that's be right. Happy out here soon. We're talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided, right? We decided. Oh yeah. Can, can we announce it? Yeah, all go right. for it. All right. Hey, uh, for our Patreon members, we're gonna do the mm -hmm. happy hour. We're gonna if you guys don't mind. I know we decided on Saturday, but we're going to move it to Friday because I would like to see you guys. Okay. Yes. Friday is my day that I'm going to be uh, available. So for <laughs> our Thomas Island Patreon members, thank you mm -hmm. for sticking with us. Thank you for, for coming back. And uh, let's get back. Let's catch up on, on Friday because there's, there's a lot of dives that we got to do on. Huh? Especially I was going to say, on, I on Jamie, I mean, Jay White, you know, yeah. <laughs> so. I, th I think, I think I speak for all the subscribers when I say we've been, uh, we've been waiting to have a good happy hour, especially with, with everything that's been going on. If you head over to patreon.com slash Thomas Island, you can subscribe there. Like he said, tomorrow we will be doing a, a happy hour. It sounds like Tama will be, be there before he heads off to, uh, to Japan to prepare for, for the new beginning tour so it's it's mm -hmm. going to be a fun time tomorrow and we will also be having a uh, uh, pretty regular pretty regular happy hours and for that matter twitch streams as uh, as this season two of thomas island goes on but we we've oh. talked about we've talked about jay white we've talked about wrestle kingdom we've talked about uh japan and the the, the state of emergency mm -hmm. uh I think it's I think it's time that we we now talk about the the just big the real big elephant that's in the room right now because yeah it's just time as as we said this is season two this is the season two premiere of Thomas Island the season one premiere of Thomas Island the very first episode in fact I believe it wasn't just you and me Tama mm -hmm. we also had one Carl mm -hmm. Anderson one half of the good brothers one mm -hmm. of the founding members of bullet club you're as you've put you've talked about him many times as, as your oh, sensei yeah. when you were in the dojo i mean this man this man is is very much puts the brother in good brother and he, i mean it sounds like he puts the good in good brother as well for when it comes mm -hmm. to you and oh, uh yeah. well uh, just under a week ago he showed up uh, in AEW alongside the AEW champion uh, Kenny Omega, as well as uh, Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks, and also uh, Don Callis of, of Impact Wrestling. Mm -hmm. They threw up the two sweet. There were illusions made that this might be some kind of bullet club uh reunion so to speak uh we've oh. it's i mean it was a historic moment for wrestling fans you got the impact tag champions the aew tag champions the aew champion and then someone who's in a an executive role over at impact wrestling with with don Callis. Mm -hmm. but for for bullet club this is a lot more personal i mean i i'm i'm gonna hand you the microphone on this time because what did you when you saw that Carl and and oh, and Gall let, that Anderson oh, let, and Gallows had you know, decided let, to join the the elite 
uh, in AEW, what what went through oh, your head? I'll start off. I'll start off. That what got me triggered. Yeah. Right. Is when I heard Kenny Omega going, B -b 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 Bullet Club. Ooh. You you son of a bitch you, the one guy that tried to dismantle us from the inside, split us into two. The elite and Bullet Club. The guy who really tried to ruin Bullet Club is now using Bullet Club as an angle. Now, a reunion? How can it be a reunion when Bullet Club is still here? Mm -hmm. We ain't never went nowhere. They should have called it something else, like the X-Members, right? The X-Members <laughs> reunion. Mm -hmm. All right, because all of y'all have gone, and I when I say all of y'all, every single one of that who was in that mm -hmm. a different company was in different other companies trying to do the same thing with Bullet Club, but they called it what the club they called it was the it club, Bullet the OC, Club, the OC, yeah, OC, Balor Club, Balor Club. I mean, no matter what you guys try to do, you're just not Bullet Club. Now, here you are trying it again. Now, but when you're hashtagging that and calling that Bullet Club, that's a slap in the <laughs> face to us that's still riding with Bullet Club in Japan. Now, if you're the OGs, Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows, and you're promoting this as Bullet Club, damn, dude. I mean... Come on now. That's a slap in the face to us out there in Japan putting in the work. Y'all remember that, guys? Remember that? Those mm -hmm. those times that y'all were putting in the work with us? Y'all remember that? Now, now hey, y'all can do your thing. Do whatever the hell y'all want. But do not call it Bullet Club because you are not Bullet Club. And definitely now, man, now that you've got a reunion... Wait, you're going to come into Japan? And then what? Is that a reunion for us too? Nah. Nah. Nah, I'm pissed off, man. I was going to say. pissed off, man. You got sold out. You got sold Ooh. out for the quick buck, man. For the quick buck. Hey, but I should have known that already, man. Once a sellout, always a sellout. You know? Shit. Mm -hmm. I should have known that. Isn't Oof. that the code of the streets? i right? It's it's what? definitely it. Pe I've I've always lived by the creed that people tell you who they are. You know, it's a uh, it's definitely it feels like uh, it feels like a couple of years ago, y'all drew a line in the sand between what is now Bullet Club and the Elite, mm -hmm. and now for for Gallows and Anderson, I mean they they're showing up on on not one program, two programs now because it's not just AEW that this is involved in. They're also over on Impact Wrestling, who I know are. A, on Twitch, they might be watching right now. I don't know. I know. I, I know, know Omega's on Twitch. Omega's on Twitch. I know, I know the. Uh, watching too. Hey, Omega, you know I'm talking to you, baby. You know I'm talking to you. Tell Tama keep the mm. peace. Hey, fuck you. All right. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not on okay. my watch. Okay. Yeah. See. See. The problem is all these fans here in America think that that. Mm -hmm. You know that that wrestling, you know, is only here in America. And if you're not here in America doing it, you're not doing it anywhere else. You dumb idiots need to understand that Bullet Club is alive and well and thriving, still holding it down in Japan, the most popular, popular faction I ever. So good that we had to take from what everybody thought was a great faction of Lij. We took one of their top dogs. We took we took one of their generals man mm -hmm. took, now i know a lot of y'all ain't happy <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly hey. see yeah hey no evil evil has you know he's definitely he, he's been the double champ which a lot of people cannot say he's definitely made his mark on on 2020 uh, he's due to be facing Kazuchika Okada a lot in 2021, so mm -hmm. I can't. I'm looking at this new beginning tour. I don't see him not making some kind of name for himself, some kind of statement. I mean, hell, the whole reason, whole reason he's in in Bullet Club was was to beat Okada in that New Japan Cup final. So, uh, if yeah, if there's I, I one see, person, I've seen a lot of comments here. They're not they're not feeling evil. Mm -hmm. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> we're here double champ we're doing whatever the hell we want exactly mm -hmm. we're doing the hell we want see 
Oh man, I that's 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 gets me triggered with these fans, man. Hey, y'all don't know shit from squat. Why don't y'all shut the look, hell up? Hey, pe- people people will have their opinions and they're entitled to them, but the result the results are what speak for themselves. Evil may not have had the best night in the Tokyo Dome. But he, if there's one thing Evil has shown over his career, whether it be in Bullet Club, whether it be in LIJ, he can bounce back. So mm-hmm. I, I, I think it's dangerous to count him out. I think you're just, you're just, uh, you're, you're doing harm to not only, not only yourself, but to Evil if you, if you count Evil out. That's just. And for those telling me, oh, you know, the elite is is, is spreading mm-hmm. the Bullet Club name. No. The elite is spreading the elite name. It always mm-hmm. been and it will always will be. All right. That's how that's how it was in the past. That's how it is now. Bullet Club spreads Bullet Club. All right. Yep. So don't for any fans that's thinking that, take that out of your stupid brain right now. Yeah. Take that out. That don't work here, man. That don't work here. Yep. That's the good brothers ain't ain't out there promoting Bullet Club. No, the good brothers out there promoting impact. Yep. All right, elite is I, out there promoting. I was, elite. I was about to say they've already they've already got their own T-shirt. It's uh, yeah, it's so it's the it's all five of them doing the, brain. yeah, they're doing the two sweet that that was supposedly they're Yo, not supposed to do. It says my ass. All right, hey, cease and desist my ass. If that was really the deal, then I wouldn't see that go up anymore. Oh yeah, hey, but I still look, I'm. I'm just saying they're walking. A, they're walking a fine line. Uh, it's it seems to me they're walking a very mm-hmm. a very dangerous path. I think there's a lot of YouTubers who can speak to the the power mm. of a Bushy Road copyright claim. And so if they're going to start throwing Bullet Club around, uh, it's going to careful. Tama, why don't you show up on AEW? What the hell for? <laughs> what the hell oh. would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to show up in Impact? Huh? We come in, kick their ass, and that's the end of the story. That's it. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be any other way. How does Run that benefit rough? us? All right. How does that benefit us? I mean, you get to you, you you get to kick some ass, but I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna get to kick some ass when you head to Japan for the new beginning tour. So, okay. like, exactly. You're, you you see, are everybody. Uh, everybody's talking this and that about this bullshit, yeah. but really, the truth is, everybody's using Bullet Club to get themselves over, no matter where they are in the world. They're all mm-hmm. trying to still take from the Bullet Club tree, sitting <laughs> under the tree like this, waiting. Waiting for drop downs. Let me get that. Let me get my shirt up so I can catch whatever <laughs> Bullet Club shit they got going on, man. All right. <laughs> well, we out there in Japan putting in the work, building the yep. foundation. Everybody else is trying to steal from us. So y'all can take that and shove it up. Oof. Where the sun don't shine. Mm-hmm. Oof. Firing, mm-hmm. firing with live rounds here on Twitch on Thomas Island with the, the season two premiere. But I, it, I got to say, I, I, I respect where your head's at because a lot of people are telling you to, to kind of go fight a war on two fronts right now. On February 10th, you got to face Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. And then there's a section of the fans that are like, what you should also do is divide your attention and go after Gallows and Anderson. I don't, it doesn't sound like a, 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 the right strategic move. It doesn't sound like the kind of move that, that keeps Bullet Club where it's, where it's at, especially. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave Gallows. A machine gun kissing Omega's ass, okay? While we yep. over there in Japan whooping ass, all right? None of this, more of this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ta- kicking ass, <laughs> taking names, heading for that, heading for that new beginning tour. How does how does it feel? How's this kind of like uh, this week back kind of kind of felt? Because this was supposed to be your relaxation week. This was supposed to be the week that you recover from from being in Japan and heading to Japan and the elite and Gallows Anderson kind of raising the stink, disrupting your piece uh, on what shouldn't be a recuperative time. That's gotta be, I mean, outside of the whole using bullet club thing, this was supposed to be, this was supposed to be peace and quiet. This was supposed to be oh, peace oh, during wartime. See, this is, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, Ross. Yeah. I know how to turn it on. And I know how to turn it off, man. And when I'm here, man, I've been gone. Yep. I've been going away from my family for three months, y'all. It's like a mm. damn military TDY somewhere, man. I've been gone for three months. I'm home for one week. I am, I'm here, present at the moment with my kids, and I, I'm focusing on my kids. You know, I had to tell you guys, hey, don't talk to me for the whole weekend. I don't want no text mm-hmm. messages, no nothing. I'll talk to you all on Monday. Yep. I'm here with my family. I'm, I'm focusing on my kids and my wife. 
and and that's it man i'm in now now i'm prepping myself to get back to work because i'm about to leave here in a few days and uh you know i'm this is this is the hustle man mm. this is the hustle you gotta know how to how to wind down on a, <laughs> you know on a drop of a dime and go on a drop of a dime man that's it oh, i'm I am so glad to hear you say that because I, I could not agree more. So you got to learn to know when to turn the notifications off sometimes. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise the world's in every room. The world's in your in your 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 on your sofa. The world's in your bathroom. The world's in your bedroom. You got to turn the turn those notifications off and just be. That's right, man. That's right. But it's all Hell good, yeah. you know. I I, I mm -hmm. love this. I love this. I love what I do. I love working out there in New Japan, and mm -hmm. uh, they're very. Uh, what's great about them is they're you know, with every with all the situation here, they're trying to send us back to you mm -hmm. know have time with our family. Uh, it's just the situation with the whole COVID, the lockdown. Yep. We're trying to keep a balance here, so you know it, it's the best that we can do right now. And I appreciate them. I, I the way I look at it is that they gave uh, they gave me all most of last year off. I was yep. able to spend it with my daughter. She was born. I got to see the first eight months. And then you know, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? what is, however long y'all need me, I'm here. Let's do this. And uh, I'm cool. I'm cool with what they're giving me and, and what they're able to uh, to let me, uh, you know, the time they're, like, they're allowed to let me get home. So whatever That's fantastic. it is, man. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got soft there for that, a second. I like that. Let's 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 dim it. No, yeah, that's that's what we got. We got that, hot and heavy there for a little bit, didn't we? <laughs> oh, it's that's what Thomas Island's all about, baby. Especially season, <laughs> especially season two. We want to hear about the relaxation as much as we hear about the ass kicking, as much as we, as much as we as we talk shit and and all that kind of stuff. You still wanna, you still wanna be able to just chill from time to time. That's just be right, able man. to to yeah. relax. That's what that's what the island's about. <laughs> Well, now, while I was away, man, while, while I was in Japan, mm -hmm. what the hell's going on here in America, man? Man, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> it, it's, it's changing every day. Uh, it's, it's basically... We got it's two a, dudes storming the Capitol. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, no, They're it's a, it, a coup. The civilians are pulling a coup out here. What's going on, a, man? <laughs> it's a coup. It's treason. It's blasphemy. It's the highest rated episode of the news ever. It's going to be... Uh, it's been insane. Uh, it's yeah, because I'm I I was originally supposed to recover from new you know covering Wrestle Kingdom New Year's Dash all that stuff and then January sixth it it became a full time job keeping up with the news it, uh, it just I've been just I just be, I just keep checking it I'm jealous that you're gonna be uh, flying off back to Japan where they've got this stuff under control and no one is is storming any government buildings. <laughs> Man, I tell you, it's a trip <laughs> so, all Japan. Japan news is like the uh, they've taken over the capital. <laughs> yeah, someone, someone in the chat just said it's the American season premiere, and I that is so hopeful. I've been calling it the season finale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, y'all tripping, man! Damn, America tripping. What's going on, man? Shoot, we're what's going on? We're still figuring that out. We'll get back to you on January twentieth. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Hey, hey you know what? But uh, I, I was I was checking on the news, man. They had this guy. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? You see, you saw a picture with a guy wearing a bull. Uh, the bull. The yes, the Q. The he's the QAnon shaman. Yeah, what's his the what's shaman. his face? Yeah. <laughs> we saw that in America. I was like, nah, man. This. I mean, yeah. we saw that in Japan. That was the first thing we saw when the people were rushing the Capitol, and I, we saw him, and I was like, holy shit, man. And now, and now. You know, seeing mm. what he is today, he's in jail, and, and you know his mama is trying to get him out. <laughs> his no, his his him. mama's trying to get him organic food because they're not, and and this is a quote: they're not adhering to his shaman diet, which is I, <laughs> apparently a thing. I don't know. I, I saw a comment. Somebody had made a comment. They said, uh, <laughs> "Wait, hold on, wait a second. <laughs> he has no job, living in his mama's basement, and he eats organic food." <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's no, trip, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's one of those cases of one. It, I waited till exactly twenty four hours after, and I was like, you know what? This is hilarious. This is we've we've gotten in, we've gotten in enough photos for me to go. What a, what a what a, what a time to be alive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's. Luckily, we're on Thomas Island, where where you can just yeah. hang out. <laughs> not worry about what's going on. Out there. No one. That's what we did at the pan. You know, during the, during the yep. um, the, the pan. Exactly. We just 
There was riots. There was all kinds of like stuff that was happening. But, and we're like, look, man, we deal with all that stuff on the outside. We come in here. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's talk about everything but that. Let's try to keep it positive. Let's try to, you know, just, just yeah, like escape you know, from this... all that, man. For an hour, for an hour, we can escape, but then y'all can we can go back to the madness, you know. <laughs> exactly. This start this started as making the best out of the bad situation that was 2020, and now right. we are 12 days into 2021, and it looks like we're gonna have to keep making the best. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely <laughs> who I know doggy. Man. But it, it's been a ride, you know. Now we're on season yep. two. Uh, yep. we got a lot of things we got we've been working on a lot of things here that we're going to release to you guys and uh we're, you know there's 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 so much going on uh especially now with with uh, with the world there's more to talk about wrestling is back up running um new japan mm -hmm. is trying to get through i i know w wwe is trying to get through they they've actually did better than than shit like previous mm -hmm. years right on on like attendance or not attendance i'm sorry on a or viewership or, or the money, the profits that they made. I think I read that. Somewhere. WWE. Yeah, no, they made the yeah. most, they made the most money they've ever made in the history of WWE in 2020. Um, that's insane. Which that's is insane. considering the way the, the, the viewership has kind of been trending is just, I mean, it's, there is, there is some kind of magic. There's some kind of magic they got there that they can, they can keep turning that kind of profit in the kind of, the kind of year that they had um it's it and then aew seems to be like they they signed on for another four years with tnt so they've got some room to really uh you know build so hold on so what did what was the uh what did they have before how many years they originally they had? had they had a one year deal and so that's that's why it felt like the first year of aew is very much like we're going to get as much into this as possible to show them what what we can do and then like midway through that first year they got renewed for another four and so they've got they've got room to kind of kind of grow and they're also i believe adding a couple of shows to to tnt at some point uh i don't i don't have all the details on that but yeah no they're gonna they're gonna be growing it looks like new japan is is a they're gonna be in india they're gonna be in the uk they're gonna be in the u.s uh we're still waiting on some of those announcements but it's yes. it's from it's coming it's coming it, we're gonna be showing here in america man we're going, hell we're coming back we're coming back it's it's about time i'm gonna be very happy to have y'all back uh back on my cable box uh it's Me gonna too, be man. And especially we can shut up, we can shut all them little haters up. They're saying that Bullet Club is uh, not relevant anymore, you little son. And, uh, we ain't here on the damn TV here, so you can't see us, you little ho ass, and, ho -ass and muffins I, over there. Shut the hell up. And I, I speak for so, as someone in the states that I'm real happy they're going to be there. But the UK, I know, is real excited about this because uh, you've had several, you've had a couple now events that New Japan held in the UK that were very successful, and so it it does. It's going to be good that they're going to be able to watch it and and. India right now is is kind of a wrestling battleground. WWE is going to be having a show there. They just trademarked some some Indian Look, superstar let me, names. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm gonna be a big ass star in India. Y'all don't know. This I believe it. Haters coming off you. They, I get mad yep. Indian fans, man, following my page. They always hit me up. Yeah, you look like my cousin. I say, I look like their cousin. I look like the Puerto Rican cousin. I look like a Mexican cousin. I got I got the whole world covered. If you're if you're Dude. brown skin and under, <laughs> darker, Dude. you know, <laughs> that's it. If, if you think being a star in America or Japan is cool, wait until you're a star in India. Oh, that is a whole other I'm, level, yo, man. I'm trying to get in that Bollywood, bro. If I can get in that Bollywood, I know yeah. they are mega money. Don't don't they rival Hollywood? They rival oh, yeah. Hollywood. No, money, it's bro. it's it's not even a rival. Of, it's it's like they're they're knocking it completely out of the park. Um, but yeah, I'm no. You, if I can get, it, I'm getting into Bollywood, bro. I'm the man of the people. I can go. I can be. Yep. Look, I just gotta do. Hey, yo. Dominican, the Dominicans claim me. Hell yeah. Hell man. yeah. I'm all about that, bro. Shit. Hell yeah. Ice skin, black man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man. Take it, baby. It's going to, but yeah, it's going to, it's going to be big stuff. And then like we said, season two here on, on Thomas Island is, is going to be bigger. We're going to be doing the Twitch stuff. We had the, uh, we had the, the, the Wrestle Kingdom uh, fundraiser for the family of Brody Lee that uh, everyone was very, it seemed like everyone was very generous oh, with. Oh, thank you, everybody that, that uh, donated to that. That's really cool. That's awesome yep. of you guys. You know, uh, while I was in Japan, I was seeing everything that was happening, and Ross and, and uh, Steve K were keeping me updated with everything. And we just, just wanted to do our part. You mm. know, it, it, it may not be a lot, but it's just a little something from, from our Thomas Island, 
mm-hmm. here to to the wrestling community. You know, I think that's just something that we could put us like this with everybody. You know what I'm saying? We can have a yeah. beef, but we can still be like this. Absolutely. No, and especially like because Brody Lee A is the kind of uh, wrestler that just no one has had a bad thing to say about, which is is especially rare in this business. And then yeah. I'm also I also I'm also gonna say that the way that that uh, his wife Amanda Huber has been carrying mm-hmm. uh, kind of the the fan response because there it's it's still wrestling fans and it's still Twitter and it's still a kind of place that can get very ugly. And she has been a, a very level-headed calm voice to, of, of reason in a time when I think a lot of people would uh, would would not be quite so uh, would not be quite so uh, put together and so shout out to the Huber family and I mean negative one booked a hell of a show uh, for his that tribute show and the, the main event was I guess a lot of uh, negative one so he's got that that contract so shout out to the Huber family we're, we're we're thinking hey, we're sending you uh, some so what what financial help we can in this in these trying times. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you again, man. Cool. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, man. This, whew, what a what a <laughs> debut here on <laughs> Twitch. I'm, I'm, I believe it, man. We we covered we covered a lot of topics. Like we said, if you want to continue supporting Thomas Island this episode, of, of, of Thomas Island isn't going to be on Twitch. We're not archiving this. It's not going to be saved. If you want to hear this again, you either got to subscribe over at Tom at patreon.com slash Thomas Island, or just hit, uh, hit us up on Spotify, hit us up on, on title, hit us up on wherever you listen to podcasts. Yep. Um, we're, uh, we're there. Thank you again so much for, for joining us on Twitch. We had a, a lot of you tuning in. We had a lot of you in the chat. And uh, it's it's I had a blast, Tama. What do you what do you day. think of this? It's good to be back, man. Season yep. two, we're gonna hit this shit running. We're gonna be on fire, you know. We're gonna we're gonna pay more attention. We're gonna take in anything that you guys uh shit. It's your guys' world, man. We just live in it. We're trying to mm-hmm. we we cater to you guys, you know. So please join us on Friday at patreoncom backslash Thomas Island for happy hour. I'm on there. I'm gonna see mm-hmm. my peoples. Our peoples, man, want to say what's up, catch up, you know, take some deep dives. We're going to dissect a lot of shit. Now, a lot of you uh, who are not in Thomas Island, uh, we put together plans at the beginning of the pandemic when we're in here uh, <laughs> having a few drinks and having happy hours at the very, very beginning. Plans of what we should do with uh, New Japan if we were, you know, now that the Good Brothers were in Impact and, and whatnot. And the angle that's going on right now, we called all those angles, man. I was, we called most of them. I was going <laughs> to say it. shout out, shout out to that season from, especially the season premiere, and then some of the happy hours that followed. It feels mm-hmm. like, uh, it feels like Thomas Island is a prescient place to be, and I think it's only, uh, it's only going to get more. So shout out yeah, to the right. chat, Patreon.com/slash Thomas Island. It's, uh, once again, and shout out to our producer Steve, who has has kept yeah. both of us on the rails and kept both of us uh, kept this entire entire as we say we're building the plane while we fly it, and he's the one <laughs> keeping everything afloat right now. Even hey. even Twitch streaming, he sent me the magic bullet that made this possible. <laughs> hey, and Ross, thank you to you too, man. Thank you. you've been holding it together, even with the uh, if you guys didn't see Ross did the, the watch along with the uh, Wrestle Kingdoms, man was on mm-hmm. point. He's been great with this. Thank you very much, Ross. And again, once again, to our sponsors, to be the man, comics, check it out. New episode mm-hmm. dropping here soon. Uh, to, oh, shit, man. Before we go, hold up. Uh, ooh, ooh. Manscape hooked it up, man. So let me uh, let me do this unboxing here for you guys real quick. Absolutely. Man. I'm just going to say again, manscaped.com. Uh, Use that code TAMA for 20% off and free mm-hmm. shipping. You know? Oh, oh. Okay. What did what you what they send you, baby? What they send you? I got the the manscape weed whacker. Ooh. I don't know if you guys see that. Yeah, the nose trimmer. I have the nose trimmer. It's uh, it's over. It yeah, <laughs> it's in my bathroom right now. All right. Oh shit. Hey, well let me uh. Yep. Let me let you guys go. Thank you very much for everybody that came in. You guys, Ross. Thank you, Steve. Everybody, Thomas Island. We'll see you guys this Friday. Let's, let's rock and roll. Peace out, y'all. Hell yeah. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for for joining us. We will be back sometime soon. Like I said, more coming to Twitch as we go. Thank you all. Thank you for listening to this week's Thomas Island.
find more great Thomas Island content like the Shotgun Series, weekly happy hour Zoom calls with Tama, video versions of the podcast, and much, much more at patreon.com forward slash Thomas Island and visit at Thomas Island on Instagram and Twitter.